Hey, what's going on guys? This is our fourth Java tutorial and I'm the IT Ranger. So let's go ahead and open up Eclipse and let's get started. So today, um, in my last tutorial, I think we talked about uh, just converting um, temperatures. So today we're actually going to talk, we're going to go a little bit advanced. And we're going to actually talk about how to actually make a graphical user interface. Yeah, with Java. So the first thing, let's go ahead and make a new project and let's let's call this project the GUI the GUI there we go so we have a project now and we call the project the GUI so let's go ahead and finish this and um, next thing we need to as of course as we always do we always and get a class so let's right click on the source folder which is SRC that's our source folder which holds our code Let's go ahead and right click and we're gonna to go to class. Let's call our class, let's call our class first GUI. We're gonna call our class first GUI. So there we go. We have a class and we called it the first GUI. First GUI. So next thing, um public static void. Let's go ahead and check that. So save us some time from having to type it. Public static void, string arguments, and Let's uncheck inherited method abstracts because we're not actually extending a class. So let's do finish and voila, there we go. So we have um, our program, we have our base code right now. And the first thing we want to do is um, the first thing we need, we need to import. Just like in the last tutorial, we imported our scanner to take you input from the user or, or scan and reads the user input. So this time we actually have to import another class. And this class is actually called import import jobx import jobx dot swing swing period asterisk. And what this is basically the swing the swing is actually what allows us to access the class that holds the J frame frame a name. And the next thing we need to do is the next thing is we need to set the title because we want to have a title for our graphical user interface. We don't want to if we don't have a title, I mean how does user supposed to know that's the program? So let's do the GUI the GUI dot set do the GUI um well let's, yeah let's do the GUI the GUI dot set title and we're gonna set the title to our first GUI. So there we go. We just assigned our our program or our our address our GUI a title, and we call that title our first GUI. So let's go ahead and say um, assign the J frame J frame. Sorry, typo. J frame dot exit on close. And let's go ahead and finish this line, and there we go. Voila! So we just set um, the GUI to actually close when we match the close operator, which is the X. So we did exit J frame. We telling the J frame to exit on close when the close operation is pressed. So let's assign the close operator, and there we go. So what we just did is we just made our program or our, our skeleton. Uh, for our GUI. So let's go ahead and um, run our GUI and let's see how it goes. Save it and one second and where are you GUI? Where are you GUI? Where are you? Oh, you know what? So let's see. So here we go. So basically we, ass we assigned everything we need in the GUI but the one thing is, um, we didn't tell Java to actually make the GUI visible. We didn't make, we didn't actually make the GUI visible. So the GUI is up here right now, but we just can't see it because it's not. We we didn't set the visibility to true. <laughs> Silly mistake. So let's do the GUI set visible, and we're gonna set the visible to true. And there we go. So we just set the visibility to true, and let's do. Set so let's so the user 
can see the GUI. So there we go. Now let's here we go. And there we go. There it is. So you see here, um, we have our first GUI, which is our title we set right here, our title. And um, as you see, it's 300 by 200. There we go. That's our size. And let's test out our exit on close operator. Bam. There we go. So we just made a GUI, a graphical user interface through Java. And I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope it helped out a lot. Again, this is the IT Ranger. Um, Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time on the next tutorial. See you later, guys.